Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this new lesson here, I'm introducing a new topic which is trigonometry and the trick part is continuing from your grade 11 so i will encourage you to always revise the previous work on this channel that covers from grade 11 there is quite a lot of content here just as you if you just search trigonometry and then you also go to grade 11 work you'll see there is a lot of sections that are actually examinable so don't ignore those sections because they already assume you know them. But time and again, I'll come and bring some questions that are, are a reminder for that. Now, with trigonometry, I'll also encourage you guys, if you want to get more, let's subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified every time I'm posting a new video. Now, compound angle formula. This you will find in your, I took this from your question paper. You'll be given these. Let's settle the issue you will be given the compound angle formulas and they are like this in your previous paper all right but at the same time they might require you because it's in it's in your syllabus to prove these uh you'll be required to prove this one you'll be required to prove this one you'll be required to prove this one and then they will tell you given you are given this one this you are given so they will say given as you can see here given cos alpha minus beta is equal to this now derive the rest of this meaning use the one that we give we have given you to find the rest so let's quickly do that that's the main part of the formula to derive uh, where are these coming from so let's start with the first one the first one i'm going to start with is uh cos this one will be cos if this one is cos alpha minus beta that's the one we're given i'm going to do cos alpha plus beta right and then equal to now how do i derive that how do i you see the formulas are already given but let's prove it how did it come from look at this so if i want to write this i can write it like this cos alpha plus and another bracket minus beta like this so let's open two brackets like this here i think it would be better if i did this because it's not like that too it's one bracket so look at this if i do this cos alpha plus minus beta I do, actually i did wrong here it's supposed to be minus sorry about that it's cos alpha minus minus beta now negative times negative guys is what is positive because i'm looking for the positive one so if i say minus minus this will see symbol becomes alpha plus beta okay which is similar to what i just have there so in a way i introduce two negatives and two negatives result in a what in a positive remember this is the first part of the proof then equal to you continue now to say cos bracket now alpha minus beta remember they said i'm already given this i'm given cos alpha minus beta and what does it simplify it simplifies as cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta already is given you don't need to know where it's coming from there is a proof for it but it's not your duty to prove that you already use that knowledge so here what they are saying for me is i'm already given here my alpha look at this my alpha is that and then my negative is that and my beta is that do you see what's happening i'm trying to prove that part so the question or i can use this side to match to say here my alpha is that my negative is that my beta is no longer positive it's negative beta so now what will it become it will be cos alpha i also write cos alpha cos beta and then i write cos but my beta is no longer that is the one in bracket which is negative b 
I sing that then plus I follow that formula sine alpha which is still sine alpha sine beta which is sine but my beta is negative beta are you with me then you have to use your what let's look at the cast diagram uh, remember all students take chemistry now you must know that um, sine is positive in the first second third and fourth quadrant and what where is sine negative sine is negative in here sine is negative in here sine is negative so what about cos uh, I'm looking at cos negative B cos negative B you must remember now when we did um, what you call uh, when you did uh, the cast diagram okay let me take this and bring it back to you again if I say negative angles if I say cos minus B where am I now I'm in the fourth quadrant and what is cos cos here is positive so this is cos B what about sine negative B in the fourth quadrant what is sine sine is negative sine you see it's negative sine B but you can use a calculator to quickly remind yourself what you do you take a calculator and say cos negative 30 you'll see the answer then look at the sign don't worry that and then say sine negative 30 you you are interested in the sign which is negative half you see so here it will imply it will mean it becomes cos alpha cos beta because cos is positive now sine is negative it becomes now here because it was multiplying from positive it becomes minus sine uh, beta sine alpha and sine beta the negative here went out to affect that in a way I was supposed to write it like this if you wanted I could have said plus uh, sine alpha bracket minus sine beta you see and then this negative is the one I'm saying is going to affect that part you see so that it becomes what it becomes negative when I remove it from inside there that's why I'm writing already as what sine alpha sine beta so that's the first one which means cos alpha plus beta is cos alpha cos beta and a sine alpha sine beta let's go and check in the formulas and try to see if we can look at it at the go look at this cos alpha plus well give it we're looking at this one cos alpha plus beta is cos alpha there cos beta there minus there is minus sine alpha you see sine beta we use that to prove now let's prove the rest the next one that I'm going to prove is remember I'm already given this I'm already given I must write the one okay let's erase here I'm already given I'll leave my cast rule I'm already given cos alpha minus beta now I want to do this one sine let's start with alpha plus beta all right if I have got sine alpha plus beta um, it is equal to what will I have this is the same as if I can write it as sine um, I can make it actually let's look at this remember this if I give you um, just to remind you here if I give you this one sine alpha is equal to cos 90 minus alpha remember the co functions sine alpha is equal to cos 90 minus alpha for example if I say sine 30 this is equal to cos 90 minus 30 you agree with me you can test it with the calculator it will balance because this is sine 30 is called to cos 60 are you with me so using that I can therefore say sine alpha plus beta is equal to co function cos put that then I'll say 90 minus bracket alpha plus beta 
take it as one thing you subtract it as one just as i said if it was 30 i said minus 30. now it's alpha plus beta minus alpha plus beta i think that then you can then continue here and say this is same as cos 90 open this bracket minus alpha minus beta are you with me the aim is to match that which is equal to cos and then i will say uh do that and then put like this and say 90 minus alpha put it rearrange it and then say minus beta now you have this this negative is now that negative there. so your alpha is your 90 minus alpha your beta is your beta are you with me then from here you apply uh, what you apply that part to say this becomes you are here to say this equal to cos and then i'll write a uh, cos alpha because this represents my normal alpha which is cos 90 minus alpha cos alpha cos beta and cos and cos beta because this minus is this minus all right so in cos beta and then that minus means plus here plus sine what 90 minus alpha sine beta i think that then when i look at this now this is a co-function cos 90 minus alpha is sine what this is sine alpha we just did cos 90 minus alpha if i go backwards it's sine alpha so this is sine alpha cos beta plus sine 90 minus alpha now it's the opposite sine 90 minus alpha co-function it's cos alpha and sine beta now look at this let's go to the reduction of this and check it look if you are looking at the, the formulas look at this the sign look at this if i say sine alpha plus beta which is that one is sine alpha cos beta sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta you see that's what they'll be wanting you to prove then the last one that you have to prove is sine alpha minus beta so what you do using the same part here now you'll be taking from the knowledge to say already you know that sine alpha plus beta because you just proved it is equal to sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta remember you have just proved it is assumed already this knowledge you have already proved because it goes like that now what about um this one now sine alpha minus beta which is equal to you do the same thing we did with cos alpha min it was cos alpha minus beta then you wanted cos alpha plus beta so you are going to say this is same as uh sine alpha right uh plus then you say minus beta so let me do this here you put a big bracket here and i put a brick bracket here. nothing i changed i just put a plus in the center right so if i say alpha plus minus beta what is the answer it's alpha minus beta it's still alpha minus beta just that i put a plus and why am i putting a plus you will understand i'm trying to match this plus here you see so it's like alpha plus but now it's minus beta so now with this i'm going to follow exactly this one to say this is equal to sine alpha cos beta but my cos beta beta now is bracket minus beta then plus cos alpha sine bracket minus beta because that's my new one now we just did uh, i think to say cos negative b is positive cos because it's in the fourth quadrant 
and then cos is positive sine is negative so this is same as doesn't change sine alpha cos beta then minus this becomes minus minus cos alpha sine beta so this becomes which one this becomes sine alpha minus beta look at sine alpha minus beta is sine alpha cos beta sine alpha cos beta minus see that there is minus cos alpha sine beta cos alpha sine beta this is what they just want you when you want to prove these um double angle identities all right so you can follow what i did and it can help you in your proof of that now in the next coming lessons we are going to now look in brief we are not proving now these ones just to appreciate the double angle formulas and i'm just gonna give a little bit of what you need to be careful on when you're dealing with this and then from there i start to apply questions now we're going to prove these questions so it's prove the identity we've got this and then given cos 35 is equal to m use without using a calculator determine that and then also in the next of that lesson we will also do this one very interesting you need to know this it's always good even to show your friends how you can prove this rewrite cos 3 theta in terms of cos theta rewrite sine 3 theta, 3 theta in terms of sine theta a very interesting one and then this will be different lessons so if you don't see it in one lesson check the next coming lessons determine the general solution of this and then that how you go about this so check the next coming videos it can be two videos or three videos depending on the time it will take to finish it up but once you're subscribed it's easier for you to follow up thank you